Hey everyone, Broadbent here and welcome to my modded Valheim series. The goal of this series is to explore what mods have to offer, completely changing the way the game plays, adding new content, and really unlocking the game's potential. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, so let's get started. So, I really, really, really wanted to follow through on my plan to finish the castle before I started another project. But, I am going to... I'm going to fold. I'm not going to do it. We're going to start a new project today. Um, however, before we do start the new project, which you've already seen in the title and thumbnail, I did a stream where I farmed a bunch of tar. So, what we're going to do is head up to the castle and complete the build a little bit here. So, just in here, you can see all of these structures that are made of tar. Um, if I take this off, you can see they're not actually real, including this roof. So, I'm going to go and get some tar, and we can build this. That is barely stable. Look at that. Wow. Um, how much tar do I need? 94 tar. So, I did gather quite a lot in the stream. It was a lot of fun dying several times. Um, so, thank you to everyone who joined. Uh, 325 tar. Let's take... What's the stack to? 50? Let's take 100. Alright, I'm going to chuck all that in. There's some stone left. And then other than that... I think that's something up there. I'm not too sure. <laughs> we'll get to that later on. Um, but that... Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I technically didn't really want to build that roof because it's not done. You see that one right here? Now that's done, this place just needs some more stone. I'm not entirely sure what for. Oh yeah, there's a few structures that just collapse. So we're going to leave that. Um, one thing I want to mention really quickly is I do have a plan for a basement in my basement. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. It's going to be like a really cool little separate build. I'm actually very, very excited to build it. Um, but it's sort of a secret li little project that is going to go on down here. So you've got that to look forward to as a new project later on. So, let's do some planning here really quickly. My project for today is going to be the bridge off the edge of the world. So, I'm not sure how smooth this is exactly going to go. So, in preparation for the worst, I'm going to actually build a temporary raft right here. The raft uh, base. I'm also going to quickly take off all my armor and gear. I don't know if I'm going to make make it back from this trip right now, so this could be pretty bad. What I'm going to quickly try and do is sleep until it's sunny. Oh my god. Jesus, man. The weather has just cleared up. It's one in the afternoon. I hate the rain. You just have to, like, waste a day. I'm really tempted to get a weather mod, honestly. So... If you didn't catch it, one of the previous episodes, I did in fact build this raft using the Valheim or Valraft. Valheim raft? Valheim raft mod. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, instead of taking this out, right now I'm going to build a new raft. Just because I feel like this is going to go over the edge of the world. What I'm doing is testing how far I can get to the edge of the world, basically. So let's chuck that down right here. I might need a steering wheel. I forgot about that. Okay, I'm going to throw that there. And if this will stop moving... Out there. I think this is all I need to actually sail. Yes, I think it is. If we just want a big wave to take us away. Thank you. So, in case you guys didn't know, the edge of the world is very close to my island. That close, to be exact. So, what I want to do is... If I press left shift, which I just pressed, I'm going to let go of my mouse. Technically, this boat is now anchored. So you can see it takes a little bit to slow down, but it shouldn't go anywhere. After a little bit here. It looks like we're still drifting. Interesting. My anchor doesn't seem to be anchoring very well. <laughs> that is concerning. What we're going to do is basically see how close we can get to the edge of the world. Now, one thing I want to do is also throw down a portal. I need some more fine wood. All right, there we go. I've got a portal on here. So just in case I do need to make a quick escape, I can, in fact, do that. It's going to take me to Haldor. It's just like a nice open area. Hopefully nothing does go wrong. Uh, so let's slowly edge our way to the edge of the world. <laughs> I'm actually gonna probably... Oh, wow, the sunset. I'm actually sailing into the sunset at the edge of the world. My plan is to basically just get as close as I can. 
So, I've got to scout it out. Now, one thing that I also should have done is put a workbench down here. I want to see if I can go under the water with my free cam. If not, I might need to install another mod here. The Ashlands, really? Alright, what about here? I'm anchored, and I seem to be staying still. I'm looking at this little block here. I think I am, in fact, perfectly still right now. Okay. Well, let's keep going forwards. Okay, that's the edge of the world right there. I'm going to try and backpedal right now. And anchor. Hopefully I'm anchored. This is so scary! Oh my god! I kind of want to leave and come back with a workbench. <laughs> I don't want to die! Yeah, I'm going to leave and come back with a workbench. This might be a little risky here, but we're just going to go for it. Let's go straight to the eye cave. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to lose this raft. But it is what it is. I'm, I'm okay with losing it. It's not that expensive, what I just built. So, let's do this. I saw the edge of the world. I think we're drifting. Ah! Hold on. Hold on. I hope I'm staying still right now. You can see there's like a weird zigzag thing here. In relation to that, I am in fact still. Cool. Let's throw down a workbench just so I can... Oh my god. Oh. Am I moving? If I get my hammer out and go into free cam, you can see how close I need to get. I need to be like here. Can I go under the water? Oh, yes, let's go. That's exactly what I need. So some of you may consider this cheating, um, but I'm okay with this. I'm only building the foundations and yeah, this is okay. Right, let's get a little closer. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Shift. Nope, I'm dead. I'm dead. Get me, get me through! Oh. Wow, so you've got to be so close to get... Oh, wow. Well, that raft's gone. <laughs> that's, uh, that's fallen off the edge of the world. Okay, so now I have I sort of gauged it a little bit. I think I have a plan. It's going to be tricky, but this should work. Instead of my original plan of using the raft, I'm going to have to build beams that are supported off the ocean bed, raise them up above the ground, place a workbench, and then stretch my way out as far as I can go. That seems like the only thing I can do. Let's do it. Alright. This is a little scary, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to lose this thing. Just got to keep that in mind. If I do, I mean that blows. I don't know what to say about it if I do. Let's not go full speed like I am right now, actually. We're going to... Oh my god, I'm going to reach the ocean. The, the end in no time. That's scary. I might even stop here. <laughs> I'm stopping here. I'm stopping here. Okay, we're anchored. We're good. And I can get my hammer and go into free cam around that workstation. Okay. Let's get to work, shall we? So, if my plan is correct... No? What? What just happened? Oh, I know what happened. There we go. Right, where's the end? Look at the island from here. That's so sick. I have to get there. In fact, we're gonna... I might even just plan to build it over there, actually. That looks like a better slot. So, can I build outside of the range? That's a bit strange. Okay, apparently I can't even... Do that. <gasps> I can do that! And then my free cam can get closer to the edge. Wow. Okay. In that case, I wonder if I can just place them on the bed. Alright, that is a little broken, I'm not gonna lie. I wish... I wish that wasn't a thing. But while it's here, I'm gonna use it. So... Let's get access to the very edge, my guy. <laughs> this is gonna be scary. I can't seem to build there. This is concerning. I think I have to get closer. I think that's what the problem is right now. So, let's try and do that, shall we? <sighs> I don't want to get too much closer. 
There we go. It's because over there was outside of my render distance. So we're gonna build it. I actually need to build it at the highest possible point, which is right here. So we're gonna build here. <laughs> That's how we do it. So I'm thinking for the foundation of the main tower, there's gonna be a few towers and then a bridge in between. I'm gonna have this tower right here as the main portal sort of like lookout, essentially. Uh, so I'm gonna make this a blueprint. And then we can get to building it. So only now am I having some concerns about stability. I don't know why I've not thought of this before. Um, but I do have an exact blueprint in mind. I've already made it, but I just need to add some iron beams. Uh, so we're going to head over to the raft really quickly. I want to... I feel like I'm going to fall off the world here. No, we're good. Um, what I'm going to do is check how deep the ocean actually is. That would be something that I need to know. Uh, so let's go out here and take a look. Right at the edge of the world, I think I may need to just build it here. I don't think I have any other option. Um, unless I raise the world. Could do that. God, I'm at six health. I actually died from teleporting here. Okay, if I was to build the final pillar right here out of stone. I probably would level the ground anyway. Um, but what I want to do is just see how tall this really is. And I'm going to build a replica. Oh, oh dear. I might have to raise the ground. Honestly, that's a really smart idea because... Why would I not? Okay, free cam should work with the hoe. Yeah, let's raise the ground. I'm actually kind of curious... What is this actually going to do? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm off the edge of the world. I don't I don't want I don't want to risk anything. <laughs> uh so we're going to just keep raising this like this, I think. This might be considered cheating, but you're really not going to see any of this at all. So there's no reason to not do this. Oh my god. I fell off the edge of the I'm li- Ah! Oh! I'm falling off the edge of the world! I'm dead! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm so dead. Oh no, my guy. How did that happen? What a disaster! You're having a laugh. Okay, this next death doesn't count if I die. I'm curious what happens if I teleport this ref right now. You died instantly. <laughs> uh, I think I just bugged the game. Nope. Oh my god, man. We're gonna have to come up with a different strategy now. That entire raft is just gone. Okay. I've got my tools back. I did lose some resources, but that is exactly why I didn't take my armor, man. Oh, the raft is a big loss, and after that, I may even just be uninstalling the mod, unfortunately. I don't really have much use for it, so let's figure out a different way to do this. That is, of course, once I've added the death to the graveyard. Let's see if that all shows up. Edge of world rip raft. That's perfect. <laughs> So, here's the plan. I built three pillars here, which does extend my free chem out. Um, like I've said before, it's not infinite. It is in with, within the range of the workbenches. So, if I go, I get stuck to here. But, the blueprints that I'm going to be using, placing blueprints actually requires you to be extremely close to the final project. So, the idea here is I'm going to have to actually swim out to the edge of the world. And this is, I think, the way to do it. If that doesn't lag right here. Oh my god! It's gonna be very tricky, but doable. Now, I may die again here, actually. I didn't think of food uh, for stamina, so this could end badly. So far, so good. I've made it a decent way out. Now, in order to tidy up once I've finished, um, what we're gonna do is just reset the terrain with the hoe. That is another really useful mod. So this water is not going to be good right now. 
If I if this happens at the edge of the world, I'm dead. So I'm gonna have to start building my towers a lot higher. Wow. So this is what it looks like under the ground, under the water, sorry. And this just costs 50 stone. <laughs> so in order to get there, it's probably gonna cost me, I don't even know, but a good portion of stone. Oh my God, doing this in a storm is so scary. Can I please make it up here? Thank you. Wow, dude, the ocean goes so low and so high out here. Look at this. Now I'm basically at the edge of the world. I'm really taking no risks and I'm gonna build the foundation to the height of the other workbench and then build a beam on top. Hopefully that should be enough for me to not die. <laughs> we'll see. Dude, look at that. I've only got about two, maybe three towers left to build, and I should be good to go. Um, I know I fully haven't explained the problem, but I personally have to be at the exact spot where I want to build my tower. So it's kind of problematic. That's why I'm doing this. I just realized I wanted to sort of explain that. It's something to do with the blueprints. So unfortunately, like it doesn't work like building. I don't know why. Oh my god, dude. I don't want to die. I think I may test my theory with building. Now I've got to this point here. I'm going to jump over to this next platform here and hopefully survive. I'm going to try and time it with the waves. That was very poor timing. I just don't want to be taken away by the current. <laughs> That's my only concern. If I can get up here... It should be good. You can see the wind and the current going towards the edge. I'm getting to the top. I don't like this. With this possibly being the final stump or pillar, I'm not going to cheap out on it at all. I'm actually very curious if I can make that jump. <laughs> I don't think so. I can probably make that jump. Oh! <laughs> see you later! What? Okay. <laughs> right. I can make this jump, I think, here. This seems like the right thing to do. If I touch that water, I'm getting swept out to the edge of the world and dying again. <laughs> and honestly, the graveyard's full. I've got one empty grave left. Right. Um, let's make sure this place over here is absolutely safe. Okay, so that portal just got completely submerged. That is massively concerning. You know what? <laughs> Think I'm okay here? I'm a little low. As if the waves get, like, this high. That's bonkers. Right. Let's get the hoe out. First of all, admire <laughs> this massive feat of engineering. <laughs> oh, I love that. Right. Uh, we're going to build right here. I need some wood. This is concerning. So, what are we thinking? Right here, I think. Yes. This is going to cost a lot of stone. If I do this and raise this up a little bit. Keep this in mind, this looks really ugly under the ground, but you're not going to see this uh, with the final build. You're not going to see anything with that. Look at that. Okay. I'm not concerned about this at all. Let's uh, raise it up a touch more. I think right there should be good. Let's try the blue. <gasps> yes, let's go. This works. A bit big. <laughs> so my plan is to actually have two towers. One is going to go off the edge of the world. Um, actually, one is going to be basically on here. And then the other is going to be here. So I'm going to get to work raising this area as well. So in order to actually build um, this correctly. So you see how the waves are going towards the edge of the world. They go exactly towards the edge of the world. So if you look here with this, I can't really get the tower to be exactly the way I want to. Which is really unfortunate. So what I'm going to do is download and install the gizmo mod. I've been wanting to do it for a while, but that hopefully should allow me to fix this here. Hopefully it works with the blueprints as well. If not, we've got a problem. Okay, I just installed... What is that? I just installed 
an updated community made temporary fix for gizmo because both of the versions on nexus are out of date so if you plan on using this do so at your own risk um but you can see this seems to be working wow it is look at that look at that and then can i oh what Okay, I, I can do some crazy things with this mod. Look at that. Yeah, let's just take a look at the underside. Let's just flip. Let's flip it upside down. <laughs> okay, this is going to be fun. Hopefully it works with blueprints. If it doesn't, this is all going to be gone to waste. It does. <gasps> oh, let's go. All right, let's head back to the edge. I don't like doing this. I'm going to eat some food. It's probably not going to do much in the grand scheme of things. But if it helps, it helps. The stamina could be useful. <laughs> right. Let's head back. Once this has been renamed. Oh, please don't sweep me away. Let me get up. Let me get up. Let me get up. Lovely. Okay. So the default amount of, like, rotations. You see this right here. The default is 16. So this is 32, so there's twice as many rotations available than vanilla right here. And then you can go again and double it. And then you can probably go again and double it, which gets really fine. So this is 8, which is half the default. I'm going to go to double default 32, and I hope this works. I think this rotation that I have right here should work absolutely fine. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, if I chuck this here, I should be able to travel. Oh my god, all the way to the edge. Um, so, all we're going to do is quickly test. If I throw down this blueprint, uh, basically... <laughs> oh, what it's going to look like from this side. So, I'm going to be building right here a smaller, um, a smaller tower anyway. So we're going to build and raise uh, this right here. In fact, I'm going to save the building to next episode because I've got some really important decisions to make. And this journey has already taken me a very long time. So what I'm going to do right now is, unfortunately, end the video. I know you weren't expecting that, but what I've done right now is traveled all the way to the edge of the world. I've set up the preparation and the foundations for the build. But I've got some really important decisions to make. So I'm going to take my time. And next episode, I think we're going to completely build and finish up this project. I might have some farming of iron to do and stuff like that. Or stone. Um, but basically, this tower is going to be a little smaller than what you see right here in the blueprint. And then right here, there's going to be uh, the normal tower. So two towers. One here, one here, and then a bridge. This is going to be epic. But this journey took me so long. Today's episode is unfortunately over. I don't want to budge from here. I was going to jump, try and jump up to there, but it's just not worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. This was very interesting. Unfortunately, I did lose both rafts, um, but it is what it is. I want to say thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like on your way out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.